What is going on people from the YouTube? Welcome back to another bunch of things. So today, I'm gonna be trying to check three bodies of water that are close to me. Some of them, I don't know if you can fish in there. Some of them says that you can. So we're gonna go and check them out. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm having a late start. I just had to take care of some stuff in the house. And, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it the best run that we can. Uh, we've been in a, a heat warning for few weeks now and it's been brutal so today it's kind of overcast a little bit the temperature is uh, rising but it's not as bad so I'm gonna go and and see see what we can see I don't know if I'm gonna get any fish but at least we can just get the lines wet and, 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 and learn stuff so let's go all right so I'm in the first spot and there's nobody here actually I could see some turtles I kind of walked to the to the edge there it's a park, so there's no one. There is a lot of water, but it's really, really shallow. So what I'm gonna do, I'm already here, so I don't think I'm gonna cut anything, but I can just grab two rods. I'm gonna grab a Texas rig, um, and I'm gonna grab a micro clutch. And I'm just gonna take those two, uh, grab the camera logically, and go and show you guys around, and then we can move to to the next spot. So let's do it. I just realized I left my cable for the um, for the battery bank. So I'm gonna have to be really conservative with the battery because I don't have a way to run my bank maybe if for the next spot that i'm going if i need to go through the house i'll stop really quick and grab the the cable but for now we're gonna have to save some battery and just do what i can here i'm gonna cast a little bit on each corner for a little bit and then and then pack up and just move to the next one all right first spot we're gonna we're gonna start casting and see what happens i see a lot of turtles though so can hear them jumping in the water you can tell that some people have been fishing in here there is a lot of um, trash so uh, let's start with this little tiny blade see what this does for us let's move this way
Time to move to the next little spot. I'm gonna do another more casting in another area and then we move to a, a completely different spot because I don't think we're gonna have too much luck here. So we got a safe battery and time. So let's go. I'm already sweating my life off. <laughs> but here we go. Let's try this little corner here and see. What is it? So the second spot, my good luck, got nothing. So I'm gonna go to the car, get to the next full spot and try that there. All right, so the first pond was unproductive. So we are going to head to spot number two and see what we can see there. There's another guy now fishing here, but I think that he's going for catfish. So that might be one of the things in the spot. Now I talked to him earlier and he said something interesting he says you will not get any good fish or any fish in here with any artificial lures you gotta go with live worms or mealworms or crickets stuff like that you will not succeed with artificial lures so and he said that that kind of like goes across all these city parks so and that's what we're tackling today it's just city parks so we'll see. Um, I do not have worms or crickets or anything like that. So literally, if we get a bite, well, then we are we're on top, I guess. All right, the second spot was a bust. Uh, it is a private property that belongs to a company, and it's posted everywhere. You cannot fish here, and we are literally right next to the police department. So. We are not gonna try that, so I'm gonna look up for a couple more spots and see what we can find. All right, so on this one, it doesn't seem that we have much here going on, so uh, I'm gonna try to find another one. This one is a small little park lake, a uh, little park pond. But once again, I see baby bluegill, but the areas where I'm pretty sure you can find fish, it's not accessible because that belongs to some residents. So, and I cannot cast all the way there. Maybe to, towards the radar, but, so there's turtles everywhere. So might not have any, any luck in here either. I'm getting little nibbles or little really tiny bluegill. Really tiny bluegill. Really little nibbles. Oh. We almost got him. Oh, 
много. What are you doing, guys? <laughs> These guys are feeling off the flash. Ooh. That what was that? I don't know what was that. I thought it was a toro, a toro, but no. Well, we can find out. <laughs> All right, so I got to this spot. This was this was crazy to get here, but um, we're here. I see some people fishing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my stuff directly and just go straight for it. So let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, another spot. Let's go. I'm almost out of battery so if anything happens on the couple more things that I'm gonna try then I'll film it with the phone. Right. My first fish in Texas. <laughs> it's a little baby bluegill. So we are all the amount of stuff that I bought in California. I bought these little, these little bugs that are intended for trout. And I'm using those little flies to catch bluegill. Two fish. Yeah. Downsize 
Downsize, downsize. Get two of them, downsize. Right, people from the tube back in the house. Skunk streak is over. Mm. Mm. Yes, sir. It's over. Got it out of the system. So, feeling better. Feeling better now. So, if you guys have seen since I moved to Texas, actually, one or two trips before I even moved to Texas, I was already on a skunk streak. And uh, now it's open. Today I was able to get some fish. Get some fish finally. And yeah, it wasn't a PBs or big fish, but it's fish and it counts and I caught it. So super exciting, super exciting. I went city park hopping. Like so all the ponds on the city parks that are, that are close to me, I went hopping on those. And finally, I think it was the third or fourth spot that I stopped. I think it was the third. I think it was the four. The one of the spots was um, was a private property. I couldn't fish in there. So, and it was right next to the police uh, department. So, yeah, that would have been a bad deal. You're just trying to just sneak in there and trying to get some fish. Now, I'm for sure there was some fish in there for sure, but can't mess up in that. Now, on the one of the parks, I saw baby bluegill which is a good thing and carp didn't see much anything else nothing big nothing nothing did anything but i saw the carp and i saw the baby bluegill so that is uh that is something to keep in consideration i'm gonna keep those those on the dead notes because those bluegills are gonna have, have to grow at one point so we'll go over there and, and mess with them uh, yeah uh, i left the cable to connect my anchor battery to my GoPro, I left it at home, and I only had two batteries that were charged, the rest was being charged here, and the GoPro died. But I was able to film a couple of things with my cell phone um, as far as the as far as the fish, so I'm gonna edit that. Um, so that's what you see, that's coming from, from my cell phone. But yeah, it was, it was a great day, uh, overcast. So if you guys know, Texas is being through heat warning after heat warning after heat warning after heat warning and it's been brutal and for people like me, I don't know if you guys know this, if you don't know, now you do I'm extremely sensitive to heat and it messes me up, I get sick and so the last week it's been 102, 105 feel like 107 to 110 but not overcast and today I woke up and I was like, I saw that it was overcast and look at the temperature. We were looking at 94, 90, 93, 94. And I was like, this is it. Like, this is the chance that I have to like go to all these spots and try to get some fish. And so I did. And that's, that's what we did today. But yeah, I'm super, super, super excited. I was able to get, I wasn't counting on getting bats actually. Um, what ended up happening was that I was casting and all my presentations were huge, which is the one thing that I learned today. So all my presentations were big, nothing was biting. I could see all the baby bluegill in there. And I was like, I'm gonna mess with this baby bluegill. I'm here, that's the only fish that I can see. Let me mess with them. So I brought the presentation super, super there. And I had these flies and um, little, uh, yes, yeah, a little plastic fly and have like a little plastic box. and. And he have a really tiny hook. It was about that big. And I tied that up and started messing with the baby fish. To my surprise, one of them just like clink, got hooked. And I'm like, uh oh. But it was cool. I was like, hey, my first fish in Texas. So it don't matter. It was about that big. So I caught the fish. And I kept messing with it. And a bigger came around. And a bigger one came around. And bigger and bigger and bigger. And Lord to behold, I landed two, I landed three bass, one of them got off the hook and jumped in the water and couldn't, couldn't get it. So it was three, I landed three, but actually that I could film only two. So I got two bass 
small, nothing big, nothing that it wouldn't break any any peanut butter anywhere. But got two bass, and I got about eight or nine bluegills out of those. Only one was about that big. Everything else was just about three inches or so, four inches. So it started with a really small one, and then it kind of like started getting bigger. So those flies, they don't have weight, they're plastic, and they're like about that big. And I couldn't cast too far. So like everything that happened, happened within five to, five to 10 feet, 10 being too much. Between five and six feet of distance from where I was standing to, to, to the water. So yeah, super excited. Super excited, super excited. It can only get better, right? It can only get better. But it was cool because I did this with Matt in California. We were sea hopping on all the ponds that we could find. We got no luck whatsoever. So what is next? Next is um, I'm going to get back in the map and start looking at other options to go fishing and start scratching out the areas that I already went and, and start adding new areas and start trying to find this fish. But it's been, it's been fun, it's been fun. So today I learned a couple of things. One, it's imperative for certain things to have a light, medium light to light rod. Super imperative. More in these kind of scenarios where I had to downsize, downsize super, 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 super small. So being able to have a light rod that you go, one, your sensitivity is a little bit better. And two, being able to maybe catch those little tiny things a little bit farther out. But other than that, I also learned that once you are in a situation where you're seeing fish small, instead of packing and leaving because it's not what you're targeting, go for it because you never know what is going to happen. Just downsize and see what bites and see what you can do. Because in this case, I wasn't expecting those bats, to be quite frankly honest with you. And that park that I was today, there was no signs of any species of fish, it says that there's fish. It didn't say what species. So it's in, it was interesting that I just remember that I had those little plastic flies, those little plastic things, tossed them in there and voila, it did the trick. So today that bass was caught in a hook, literally. The hook was this big. It was three quarters of an inch, if so. So I wasn't expecting to cut a bass. I was expecting to mess with bluegill, but there we go. So now I know that every time that I'm looking and present my big baits, nothing happened. Downsize to the minimum that I can go, see what happens. And if something start happening, I can start slowly increasing back up and see how far I can go on size and see if it's still, the fish is still alive. So there you go. The stomp streak is over, super happy. I got my first fish in Texas and I got my first bass in Texas. I got actually two of them. So I'm super excited, super pumped, super happy, and I'm keep grinding. Thank you so very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. I will see you in the next one. Bye, John.